Hello, this is James Harvey, the professor of music theory at the College of Southern Nevada with 5-Minute Music Theory. Start that timer and we're going to cover this first in a group of videos on determining interval quality. And I'm going to start with a disclaimer. A lot of students are uh, wasting way too much time by counting half steps. And a lot of teachers will, will uh, teach their intervals and interval calculation by counting half steps. It's a huge waste of time. So I have a little bit of a different perspective on this. Um, and that's this next few videos, this handful of videos on determining interval size. Now the thing is that we're first going to start in this video by determining the interval quality, I mean, on um, two different types of intervals, seconds and thirds. So if you don't know how to determine interval size, stop right now, go back and check out the video on interval size because it's really important that you determine the size of an interval first. Now for seconds and thirds, these are small intervals, and these are the only ones that I actually do encourage you to count half steps for. So I'm going to draw a little chart here. I'm going to do a minor second, major second, minor third, major third, and then how many half steps are between these. So these are the intervals, and these are the half steps. Let's put little divider lines like that. So a minor second, again, these are the terms that I'm using. These are minor and major. Note those words in, uh, just out of musical context and what they mean, that minor means small and major means large. That actually comes into play here. So a minor second is one half step. A major second is two. Minor third is three. Major third is four. These are the only intervals for which I encourage students to count half steps because if you get to larger intervals and you're counting half steps, it takes way too much time. And there are some really useful tricks in particular for perfect intervals, which we'll cover in a later video. So if we take these first two pitches and we actually figure out what that pitch is by putting a clef on there, we have an F and we have a G. So the first step would be to determine the interval size. F, G, two fingers, that's a second. Again, that does not change. You cannot change that number. As much as you'll be tempted to change that number, please don't because you're going to end up with an incorrect interval. Now let's count the half steps between these. So let's head over to my piano keyboard and we'll play an F, which isn't actually working for some reason, but we, oh, it's because it's on mark, that's why. So we'll go F and G and we can mark both of those anyway. So F and G are two pitches. And in between those, here's F, we have one, two, half steps. So that means that this interval is a major second. The way that we abbreviate a major second is by using an uppercase M. Uh, the next interval here, we have an F and we have an A. So the distance between these, let's clear this, F, A. F, G, A is the distance of three, so the size of that interval is a third. And then if we count the half steps between them, let's go back to our piano keyboard and count from F. One, two, three, four half steps. The third that's worth four half steps is a major third. So that's a major third. Now let's change some of these intervals and do our calculations again. I'm gonna keep those same notes, I'm just gonna add some accidentals. We'll do that, and then we'll do that. So we have an F to a G flat now in this first measure. Since it's still an F to a G, the size is still two. That didn't change, the quality changed. But the distance between the two is now a half step, making that a minor second. And I covered this in an earlier video. When I do minor, I do a lowercase m with a line over it just to really be sure that it's a lowercase, because some students' m's look a little uh, questionable. It's a little trick I learned from my uh, music theory professor. Not many people do it, but I do. And then this next one is an F sharp to an A, which is a third because it's an F to an A. And it is three half steps, making it a minor third. Now there are other qualities of these, but these are extremes and we're gonna cover that in a later video. So just really quickly to summarize here, the only intervals for which I recommend that you use this counting half steps method is only for seconds and thirds because there's not that many half steps to count. Still determine the size first, and once you've determined that you're looking at either a second or a third, then you can determine the quality. The smaller type of second, the one that's one half step, is minor, minor, small. And then the bigger one, which is two half steps, bigger, major, is major. 
And then three half steps for a third is minor, four half steps for a third is major. It's a little bit complicated at first, but with a little bit of practice, you can get really fast at this. Thank you.